So uh, we're um, leaving Mount Hay. Hay this morning. Gemstone Tourist Park. And uh, last night, windstorm came up and we had to get up and put the awnings away. Yep. And oh, a bit of rain. A little bit of rain, bit of but a um, lot. It wasn't as much as it sounded like on the roof. <laughs> but because when we got up this morning, there's nothing. Should show them out there, like how high we are actually up. Yeah, so we're we're up pretty high, yeah. and um, that's the mountains. And you can probably hear a train coming. Let's see if I can race down and grab the train. The, just down there are the train tracks. They're electrified, but um, this uh, coal train is diesel. So she's got two diesel locos on the front. Oh, what's that diesel? Yeah, long trains. Sometimes she thinks that she has to do what she's told and so she's going, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> hey, Pix. Pix. Take a bag with you, just in case. Well, here we are at the uh, Barra Crab Caravan Park. And um, they uh, specialize, have a restaurant on site that specializes in barramundi and crab. So we're going out to dinner uh, for Mother's Day. Booked in at 6 o'clock. We have to have our orders in by 4 o'clock. Um, and it's uh, 12 30, and we're just. Sit up, Bruce is just putting his legs up. It's a bit breezy, wet, 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 bit wet. Not wet, wet, but, but it's um, a bit you know, uncomfortable. We know we're right on the edge of a huge storm. Yeah. A massive storm over to the west. This should be, I mean, we won't flood here. No, we shouldn't hope so. <laughs> I thought you said we're on a concrete site, it's on drive through. No, we've got a um, concrete side of Bowen. A oh, Bowen, oh, okay. Yeah, and this is all bore water here too. Yeah. So, so we're not hooking up water, we're just power. Uh, just power. Well, this is the uh, Barra Crab Caravan Park. After raining all night and all afternoon. Most people are heading out, going somewhere. Just had a big bus pull out. Just thought I'd show you. It's pretty, um, pretty old caravan park. It's right on the water. So this is what you see when you drive in. No, not him. This is the amenities here on the left. Office right up the end, and all the cab caravan sites and the camping sites are all off to the uh, off that side. From October to May, dangerous marine stingers may be present in these waters. Motion. And up there is the unpowered camping area. So you can camp right on the beach. Down there. 
Oh, it's a boat ramp. Launch your boat. Well, this is our camping for the night. All still hitched up, ready to roll. Just gotta have some brekkie and then we'll hit the road. Well, I've stopped at uh, Serena for morning tea and uh, the Serena Information Centre. And there's a few things here. Then we're going to walk up to have a look at the sugar something or other. Sugar tree. Serena Sugar Something. Yeah. They're the Serena Sugar Shed, whatever that is. Tour times 9.30, 11. Oh, we missed that. It's a distillery. You can get rum here. Closed Good Friday, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. So we've missed the tour. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's Wonka bars. What if I got a golden ticket inside? The great Aussie waffle log. Unbelievable. What are they? Cherry ice cream. Jaffa. Nice. Oh, there's lollies. From the pure. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna get some candy? Oh, yeah. Look at these. Remember these other ones? Yeah. The bullets. So we splashed out at the sugar store. Sugar shop. Holly waffle log yeah. and a, a oh. Wonka bar oh. and some ice cream. Who has, doesn't enjoy ice cream for morning tea? <laughs> Serena Sugar Shed. Pixie's been abandoned for the liqueur tasting. You right there, Pix? You right? Pixie, you right? You right? You've been abandoned, haven't you? So we're going to stay out there for a week 
catch up on a bit of uh, washing and just relax and have a poke around the area. Um, what did you think of dinner last night? It was lovely. Barra crab. Oh, barra crab, yeah. yeah it was a barra crab restaurant. Well, it wasn't really a restaurant, was it? Yeah. But it was, it was uh, a caravan park. It was a caravan park and they just had a bit of a lean-to out the back with a bit of tin roof and some crappy old tables but and chairs. Was lovely. But the meal was lovely. But the meal was delicious and very yeah. filling. I don't think anybody can finish their meal, um, no. but I had um, an entree which was a bit greedy of a dozen oysters. That filled me up. That wouldn't done me for dinner. Probably would have done you. Yeah. <laughs> but then you had the barramundi. Then I had the barramundi uh, and chips. It was a nice barra. The chicken schnitzel was a huge, fat, thick piece of chicken, wasn't it? It was too. And then it rained off and on all night. The, luckily the wind wasn't too too strong. There was a few minor gusts, but um, there weren't. What about that big bus? And oh. a massive bus pulled out this morning. It was a big coach. It was a coach, yeah. It was the size of a denning, one of the big denning coaches or whatever yeah. they are. But, uh, but it had all the windows blocked off. I know. It had the whole side blocked off and there was just a couple of tiny little windows in it. So I don't know what their methodology was for that. Big aircon. Big aircon and big solar panels. But then she was driving another car. Yeah, that was crazy, wasn't it? He drove the bus and she drove a car. That'd have to be their house. Yeah, have nothing else. Alright, we'll show around Bow when we get there. Well here we are at um, Queen's Beach Caravan Tourist Park. park. Tourist Park. Tourist yeah. Park. It's beautiful. And it's absolutely awesome. It's got hedges between each site and the sites are really big. Well they actually the sites over there are bigger. Are, are a lot bigger. Oh. Are a lot bigger. And the, the, the space between the caravan and the hedge is nearly twice what you've got. Yeah, massive. Great, great, great site. Great caravan park. And it's big. It's got massive number of sites. Yeah, and it's walk to the beach. You just walk down there, chuck a right into the beach. Yeah. There's a park there, there's a pub just over next door to us. There's a BWS. BWS. You can actually walk through, there's a gate. To go to the BWS. Yeah. And down to the pub. And it's got two swimming pools. Yeah, one did, big, did you have a look at the big one? Yeah, it's good. I haven't felt the temperature of the water. It may, it may have a lot of water in it by tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to um, bucket down tonight, apparently. Well, Cameron said they're supposed to get 120 mil tonight. Who they are? No, we are. Oh, are we? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Right, okay. No one's expecting 120 mil. So. Tonight, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So, Tracy and I have voted. Yes. We, um, that was an uh, interesting exercise. You had to fill out an envelope first. Did yes. you have to prove identity? No. Oh. Well, we, we took our driver's We took our driver's license, license in, but she just got us to fill out our envelope, and then she checked it on the computer. We got the details, said, okay, you were voted. So, from line, they knew you were from line? No, it's not line, it's Kappa. Oh, Kappa, we're line, I think. Oh, okay. We're Tari. That's line. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, and we fill that envelope, and then when she checked it all off, she then got printed off the ballot paper, and gave us the um, the Senate sheet. Okay. Senate paper. Senate paper is like. Yeah, it's ridiculous, she isn't it? This big. Um, whether we voted before. Whether, yeah. Well, and why are we voting? Yeah. Why were we voting? We and to, would we not be home in time to vote? And we said no. We're travelling. Mm. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, the paper was huge, wasn't it? Yeah, like, massive. Remember the last time it was about as long as this cement slab. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it's like. Yeah. Yes. And then you have to fold it up as small as the small green as, paper. Small as the green paper and then stick it in an envelope and seal it and then stick it in a box. Oh, we'll go out. We've got seven. We're here. And we went together. We went together. We went to the same lady, yeah. yeah it's together. called, what's it called? It's called. Um, Absentee. Um, out of town. No, no, we, we told them we're out of, out of state. Out of yeah. state, yeah. And that's... that's the pre-polling booth. It's pre-polling booth. Yeah, but it's a particular table we went yeah, to. Not yeah. not, oh, right. not the early voting table. Yeah. It was a... Out, out of, of area? Well, not... Well, I said we weren't out of area. We were out of state. Yeah, well, I said, yeah, that's right. We're out of state. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. And she has the sanitary papers behind them on a table. She prints the green ones. Oh, we might go. We've got we've got six or so days, so yeah. something um, something yeah. to do on a wet day. It was just easy. Yeah. yeah. And it's good saying no thanks, no thanks to all the head of eight people. I know. Yeah. And you know what? The people, the Australian party. They were be <laughs> sorry. Be, um, I'm not being derogatory, but they, they were, were like bogans. bogans. <laughs> got Clive Palmer. Yeah, yeah, Clive Palmer supporters. You're kidding, mate. Uh, Don't mate. you know what he's like? Uh, <laughs> and the man said to us, "So what did you do? Just squiggle? Did you just squiggle on anything? That's what." That's no, what he said. drew a donkey. He said, "Did you draw a donkey?" No, no, I'd put a smiley face. <laughs> Now this is um, Horseshoe Bay and uh, looks like they've um, sandbagged giant sandbags to stop the erosion. It's pretty yucky beach, it's, it's obviously low tide. Uh, it's a pretty yucky beach but all this black gunk is coral chunks of coral and mud by the looks of it been washed up these big rocks huge bags oh, I nearly lost my foot a little bit smelly muddy yuck Oh, it's very nice foreshore. They've done it up very well. And a pathway. Hopefully, we get our bikes out later in the week. We come for a ride along here. Uh, it goes along the headland. Uh, this is a bit better. Very nice little beach. This is actually Horseshoe Bay. The other one around the corner where we stopped first was Queen's Bay. Uh, much nicer beach. Still lots of coral and, and grit in the sand. But um, yeah, nice. So this is from the other end, on the rocks. And we go across to the other beach, the other bay, Queen's Bay. Wow, look at this place. Awesome. And we're just straight down into the water here off the rocks. It looks sandy. So this is actually Horseshoe Bay now. And uh, this is fairly east facing. And there's cop in the wind, no end, and the waves are just ripping in. Oh, you can get a floating um... wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. Yeah, very rough at the moment. And a wheelchair ramp. to May. Box jellyfish, irukunji. Treatment. This is the track out to Murray Bay.
but it, uh, the road wasn't very crash hot. I don't think many people come out here. This is totally on the eastern side. Cape Edgecombe Walking Trail. Oh. That's a car park. Yeah, that's where we were. And we're walking down here, aren't we? Yes. It means we've got to walk all the way around here to get to Rose Bay. Yeah. And we ain't doing that. No. But... We can we'll just go... walk up there to have a look. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty wild. The wind's blowing a gale. Nice little track, this one. There's a car coming. Who's that? Maybe he's waiting. You have that, show you it, and when you go down. You can see all the um, sea mist. Look at that. Yeah, very misty. Mm. It is really, really windy outside, isn't it? Yeah. But... Well, it's not so it's, windy here. We're, no, we're on the lee side. But when you get out of the car, it's hot. Yes, it's 27 degrees. That's amazing. Like, back home, it'd be like 12. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's overcast. Humidity, very high humidity. Mm. It's not as nice, is it? No. Um, <coughs> it's got it's that a bit of rocky. Rocky and got that mud in it. And that's low tide. Mm. With that uh, easterly wind. Oh, the coconut trees. Oh, yeah. Go out and get a coconut. I think I've changed my mind. I think I'd like to come and live in Bowen. For winter? Yes. Like those people. Yeah. We'd want to live here in summer. Huh. 
Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got their own. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at the view that they have out there. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful there. Oh, it's like a big beach. Yeah. Oh, it says no swimming. Crocodiles. Crocodiles. <laughs> oh, maybe not a nice beach. Well, isn't that funny how <coughs> they've got crocodiles here? Because it's more open to the ocean. Yeah, but you're not that far away from um, the other bay like in Horseshoe beaches. Bay or yeah. Gray's Bay. Oh, you know, like crocodiles could come up here. So this is the uh, main centre of Bowen. Bowen CBD. Few shops off to the right, a couple of little ones off to the left, like the police station. Yeah, post office. It's all waiting to Oh, and there's the town centre. RSL Club. The shop for men. Keep away. Oh, what's that? It's a water parky thing, is it? Must be. It's a little bit. Water play. Oh, water play thing. This is Saint. St. Barbara Parade. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that. Oh, there's a big pool. I mean, pool. pool there. And to I swim. Like and there's that same caravan. <coughs> It doesn't even actually tell you that, that that's the marina there. No, it doesn't have it on the map, does it? No. Starboard Cafe, food with a view. Receival Depot, Bowen Fisherman Seafood Company. That doesn't even look like it's open, no? Right? Reverse park. No fishing on the marina side of Rockwall. And that's the um, the wall with the steps on it. Oh, so it is. Oh, tell Bruce where we found it. So that's along there. So that's along the waterfront where the water is, where the water games were. That's where the steps are. Mm. Charging station. Mm. Big mango. Easter egg. Mango. <laughs> Look at the um, wind socks. Yeah. Oh, well, this is for. What's this for? Sailing club? I don't know. That's where they rig up their sailing boats, maybe. Port Denison. There should be an indicator on there, someone behind you. Yeah, there was two cars behind me. <coughs> this one's got warning? crocodile warning. Crocodiles inhabit this area. Keep away from water's edge and do not enter the water. There you go. 
So there, there is crocodiles. Yeah. Well, how would you go? We were warned that the um, this weather pattern was going to come this week, and so we decided to head to Bowen. And uh, according to this weather map, we made the right choice because uh, um, above us is being smashed and below us is being smashed. And uh, here we are in the middle, having fun. Well, here we are. It's um, Wednesday morning at quarter to eight and um, it's steadily raining. It's been raining since 10 p.m. And we've had a few gusty winds, but um, nothing too serious. And it looks like it's just going to hang around like this all day. Boots on. Yeah, Tracy's fine. That's Tracy's fine. She's boots. got her purple gub boots on. <laughs> She's the envy of the whole caravan park. <laughs> All the old ladies are going, oh, I want a pair of those. <laughs> At least my feet are dry. <laughs> we knew it would catch up with us eventually, but uh, it's still only. Um, um, light showers um every now and then a heavy downpour but we certainly haven't um copped it like the rest of the state has this is early this morning uh 7 15 7 20 a.m and um, basically this is the heaviest we've had um, we did it's been pouring like this um, since early this morning about three or four o'clock so um, the ground has been pretty saturated and uh, puddles of water forming but um, we were still very lucky Yeah, the uh, water's a bit um, deep over the road. It's about an inch deep here. Oh, yep. Just about too deep for me to walk through. Oh. The rain has stopped for a while, still a bit overcast and uh, let's see what the littles are up to. Oh the road here is still a bit wet. How's the little family? Still in bed? Still in jammies. <laughs> still in jammies. <laughs> Bit, it bucketed down this morning, didn't it? Yeah. We're just watching this bloke land a plane. Oh yeah, he didn't have an experience here. Yeah. yeah. Hey Pixie. What are you up to? Oh, nothing watching much. Kelly doing some reading. And oh, how just, was that rain last this morning? This morning it was that was heavy. Yeah, well, we, well that's what we thought we would we, get yesterday. Yeah. Came, came in that window. So the, that, yeah. Yeah. Well, I had a look, and you just had your window open. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've had them had them open all night. This, these ones here are fine. Absolutely no problem at all because the wind obviously coming this way. Yeah, yeah. But that one there, that one, those ones are all right. But this one here had a bit of water coming in, not much. Because it could blow in the side of it. Yeah. yeah. But it did have a little bit of wind with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to go out and put the um, the awning out. I thought, well, it's still pretty gusty, so I, yeah. I didn't worry. But it's not too bad. Now. Did you see the guys up here? You see the a big drain. You bit up the road. There's a big drain, a big um, grass drain that leads into a big pipe. Yeah. And the water was banging down there, but they were trying to get the water off the road and into the drain, so yeah. I think they've had to do some digging this morning. Well, the drain was blocked. Yeah, oh, well, they're up there in bare feet and they're in about 10 centimetres of yeah. water. <laughs> yeah, I, I walked, I walked <laughs> to the to the loo, just in a bit of a, um, it was only a slight shower, 
and I videoed that before walking through the, the water, but as I was coming back, I noticed that the drain, you know, the drain pipe just yeah. over there, mm -hmm. it was blocked by one of those black things. Oh. It had floated down and blocked it, so I pulled it out of the way and the water went. Oh, <laughs> right. So it started to go away. Yeah. Well, I went out early this morning, took her out, and yeah, I mean, she actually weeded out near your car because she couldn't get anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of the lowest spot is out in front of you. 10 metres that way. That yeah. way, yeah. yeah. That, um, the caravan down there where there's nobody has got um, a table in the middle of its awning and a television on it. And it's just missed the water, but I bet the TV is wet. The, yeah. There's a little dry yeah, I mean, patch. it comes in the side. But... Yeah. Like, yeah we, it blows in. We, know, we knew the windows were open, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah. I mean, it is so we've been very lucky, very fortunate, and I think we, we did the right thing by oh. coming here. Oh, coming to a caravan, well, you had to come to a caravan park. Well, and, yeah. and also and to come here. Yeah. This, this, uh, we didn't get what Townsville what got, Townsville got mm. and we didn't get what Mackay got. got. No. I just spoke um, to Steve Edge there at Port Macquarie Breakwall Caravan Park. Oh yeah, that'd be, a, that'd be flooded. And then he said it's blowing a gale. He said not at the moment, they're outside, but he said, he said it's like six o'clock at night where there are, it's like he, oh, it's just dark. so dark. <laughs> Yeah. He said, "Yeah, it's um, it's up and down the coast." Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's all the way, all the way down the coast. But we're um, it's starting to clear now. Yes. Mm. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the sun came out this yeah, afternoon. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's I said I reckon it's going to be. Got to open up all the hatches, but no, yeah. the van's done well. As I said, the only leakage was not much in that window there, oh, and, missed. and it came in through the side. Oh. Yeah, the spray. Yeah. But we had yeah. to have it because you got the dog inside. Yeah. You've got yeah. to have. You've got to have air. I kept checking though, it wasn't actually raining, it was more. No. Yeah. But this side, it's, no. it's great. Very impressed. No leakage. I felt all around, you know, all around here. No water up there, anywhere at all. So yeah, where, where it's likely to leak is in that corner. In that corner but there's absolutely But nothing. underneath the corner? Yeah, nothing there at all. There's nothing. No, what about that bit of black underneath? No, yeah, have a look in the corner. Dry as a bone. Because that's where mine leaks. That in the corner. Bone. Well, it has It didn't leak after I did that patching yesterday. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, I'm, I'm impressed actually. So is it sneaking underneath the vinyl? Do you think? No, no. Yeah, it's, it's, a jo it's a join. It's a join on the outside of the um, two pieces of metal. Of the metal where the oh. weld is, and it doesn't go far enough. The black trim on the edge comes up, and they've oh. cut a hole in there for it to come in. But it, it's also created a leak point. I mean, it wouldn't, as I said yesterday, it wouldn't take much for Jayco to make that an angle. No, no, that's right. If it's had it been flat. Yeah, and that's the issue we had in the penguin. penguin if we had it at an angle, it would solve a lot of problems. And yeah. it would still close. Yeah, yeah. It would still be fine. Yeah. Well, I think that um, brings us an end to this episode of Pinky's Travel Adventures. Mm. And, um, so what are you guys up to today? Might watch a movie. Yeah, we're going to we'll have to go to the shops. We're out. The humidity is humidity has oh, gone through the roof, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So humid. It's got to be ninety percent humidity. Ninety-nine percent. Yeah. We've got a boat today. I don't know if they're open tomorrow. Um, no. Saturday. No. Today's Thursday. Thursday. Thursday is it? It's Thursday today. You're wishing Friday. your life away. The twelfth of May. Okay. Twelfth of May. Twelfth of May. Oh, so tomorrow then. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. But then yesterday they said it was going to be sunny, so hopefully that's the last of it. And, um, yeah. Well, tomorrow's just tomorrow's forecast is fine. Mm. Yeah, we yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. We have to go to the shops at some stage. Get milk. Whatever. So for those people who have asked online how long it takes us to get these videos published, I'm hoping to finish this one today. It'll be uploaded today, so probably tonight it'll be live. So um, excellent. So we don't spend time doing fancy editing. It's just basically click, 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 click. And up she goes. Yep. Up she goes like a rubber hose. All right. All right. Ciao. Take it out. Bye. Duck when you.